guys, we're down here at Nelson Golf Course and today we're going to be testing Ben Ross's Fairway Woods. We certainly are. Now you may have already seen that we've done some Ben, ben Ross products before and we're going to do some more as well. But we've done the drivers now, haven't we Lynn? Yeah, so if you've not seen that, go check it out. Some uh, very surprising results. Absolutely, yeah. So Ben Ross, are, they, they pride themselves on excellence without compromise yeah. and it's they're quite cheap, aren't they? They are quite cheap. That's the idea. So. I have the Type R of the HTX compressor, and, and you I have, have I have the normal compressor. Now then, what's yours? What's yours designed for? Mine is designed to be more forgiving and give you a higher ball flight, and to be a bit, a bit more spinning. Yeah, and this is supposed to be less forgiving, and it's adjustable, so it's a lower spinning driver, and you can change it between 16 and a half degrees and 13 and a half degrees, and you can also change its lie, open or closed. Which is, is pretty good, isn't it? It is. So this one comes as it is, no adjustability, that's why it is at the cheaper model. Yeah, yours is 15 degrees, isn't it? Yes, yeah, 15 degrees. Right, so we've already tested these in the simulator, haven't we? Yeah, so we've been in the simulator, hitting quite a few balls, and I think we'll find the results are quite similar. I think they're very similar, yeah. They're very similar. I mean, yeah. for both ourselves and the, the three woods. Um, obviously, this one does what it's supposed to do, it does spin a bit more, the distance Actually, the carry distance is almost bang on for me. The carry distance for me as well, the more or less bang on, but the difference is is that the Type R is a lower, less spinning flight. Yeah, so you get a lower ball flight, it rolls out just a little bit more. It does. It's good for fast fairways, hard fairways, you get that bit more roll out. Yeah, so I like this in the simulator room, it was good. Yeah. And then we tried it, tested it on the course, didn't we? We did. So we're here today, we've done some tests. We have. Uh, I found the, the Type R was very good off a tee. I agree, yep. Very good off a tee. I think so. Because you could get it in the air, just having that little bit of extra yeah. lunge. Yeah. Um, you could get it in the air and it went a long way. Whereas the compressor, I found, was very good off the deck. Yeah, I think with having this weight in the back, it gives you that little bit of extra help to get it off the deck. It does, it gives it a bit more spin and it gets it up in the air and does. flying, doesn't it? It does. But like I said, they're very similar. I mean, they're both quite, you can't say one is more forgiving than the other. They're both the same for me. Yeah, I think they're pretty forgiving. Um, the, the difference is, is just that sp those spin numbers. Yeah. I think, for me, because I tend to hit a three wood, more or less, on a par five, and that's about it. So yeah. trying, to, trying to reach a green in two. So I would be hitting it off a deck, so I'd be going for the more forgiving model and get it at 15 degrees, and then that's me. What about you? What would you be doing if you were getting a three wood? Um, I do like the tar par. It rolls out a little bit more. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's, it is quite a heavy three wood. I mean, compared to the one I'd actually use, it is heavier. I do feel like I can get the ball in the air and hit it, you know, quite a good distance. Mm. Now, we've not mentioned, but these come with the same shaft and grip options. In every... Every wood. Every wood, every driver, every hybrid. Yeah, so we've got the Cura Cage stiff shafts for us and the Lamkin grips, which are really good. Yeah. So they've not, sort of, they've not compromised in quality there, have they? No, no. And the heads are very good. Yeah, they look exactly the same as the drivers, with a, a glittery black and a, a nice big alarm and aid, aid mm. to help you land your ball. So yeah, I'm all in all for the price. Definitely can't complain. Yeah, I mean these these are coming in something like about half price of a top manufacturer. Yeah, they are. But they are a very good club. Yeah, I mean if I didn't tell you how much they cost and I didn't tell you what you had in your hand, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. No, I don't think so either. No. So all in all, I think that's the end of the review, and I think we're quite quite happy with these three woods, aren't we? Yeah. So I think all the thing that might sway either way is: do you want the cheap one that you can't adjust, mm. or do you or, want that adjustability? Yeah. I mean, that's all the, for me. That's the, the main difference. Everything else is kind of similar. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. So we hope you've enjoyed this, and we hope you uh, go and test the Ben Ross woods drivers hybrids. We've got hybrids next, haven't we? Yeah. So hybrids coming up. So make sure you subscribe to our channel guys and give us a thumbs up as well. Thank you for watching. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.